All right, and welcome back to episode two of Fire Emblem Three Houses. This is picking up exactly from where we left off last episode and hitting save right now. Let's find out what. Ooh, what's that? Mike, thank you so much. What was that? Captain Jolt? It is you. Goodness, it's been ages. Ah, it's Geralt, not Don't Gerald. Don't recognize me? It's Alois, your old right hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Eloise. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. Eloise. You haven't changed a bit, Eloise. Just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. Eloise. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Eloise. Right. Goodbye, captain. Eloise. Wait. That isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Alois. Garrig Mock Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was inevitable. Alois. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? Alois. I'm a bandit. <laughs> Great sense of humor, this one. Clearly cut from the same cloth as the captain. Alois. I'd love for you to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? Alois. <sighs> What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Alois. Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. Alois. The Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. They've done nothing. They just showed up and ran after other things. It seems your presence is required. Get going. I like Sothis. I like Sothis. Alois. Alois. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. Thank you. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? Former captain of the Knights of Saros. Oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? He's my father. How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. I didn't know he was my father. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garrig Mock Monastery. Are you hitting on me? some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. Excuses. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Quote unquote. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind ha. a person's words. Ha. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, oh. joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Naivete. Me? Naive. Tell me. Are you actually incapable of keeping quiet? Or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? I like her. In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. I don't care for you. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Young one. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. Which Empire? I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please, allow me to finish my own proposition. Halt. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the Kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. Ha. Huh. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. 
It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? Already? Already? Adrestian Empire, a land of ancient history. Holy Kingdom of Fergus, land of noble knights. Leicester Alliance, Burgian League of Nobles. I like history. <laughs> a wise choice. Though the Empire has fallen from its former glory, the other regions are merely offshoots that pale in comparison. You know... Alright, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. Um... My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Yeah, that's not the choice, right? She's a fine young woman. Like, she's always... I feel like normally they give you more insight into things before they have you pick one. So surely that's not the choice right then. Yes, I felt the same. Sleepy was here. Oh, I may be sleeping, but I... All right. Part one. White clouds. Great tree moon. Three houses. Is that the... That's the... Birth month that shows. The chose. icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter. And the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodlin. Fodlin. the start of a new year. Fodlin. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential. Just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. Fodlin. The continent of Fodlin, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. All right. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. I like cold areas. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlin and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Relative. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. There's no gates on those walls. Anyone can just walk through. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. All right. Who's that? Uh, 
Oh, that. But who is it? Like, what does she matter to I us? Wonder, did the flow of time bring you here? I mean, technically it brought everyone here who's here. Right? No? Am I wrong? It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... I've never spoken of this to you before, but many years ago, I was a knight here. I reported to the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Archbishop. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Joe. My name is Setif. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. <laughs> Setif. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Maybe. Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. Alois? What is your name? A fine name indeed. Don't lie to me. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers Academy. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? Join us. You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Who is they? Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Who is they? Until tomorrow, farewell. They. Alois, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> I can't believe it. Forced back into the Knights of Seros. You weren't forced. Oh, I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. I feel like you could have said no. Like. Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. How you did you gather that? That's earlier, talking about the Officers Academy, right? Well, the academy just happens to be short a professor. Oh. And apparently, that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. Dang it, Alois. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. Is that Grandpa Max from Ben 10? And watch out for Lady Rhea. I need to look up that voice actor. I know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I am Hanneman. Feel like that was an insult? A crest scholar and professor at the Officers Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. What? When next you have a moment to spare. I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. You hitting on me? I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. You just insulted me before. <laughs> I look too pretty for that line of work, do I? But yes, when I'm not teaching, I can be found in the infirmary. Okay. If you're ever lonely. Please do come and pay me a visit. I would love to. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuel. There's now, only two professors? It seems you'll be three? taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Nope. Do you really not know? Fine. 
I'll do you a favor and explain. Can you do that a favor? The Officers Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. All right. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Pardus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Pardus. I don't like Holy Lastly, Empires of Blah. There is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. Or a year for I everything to be let <laughs> for a big letdown. None of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm. Quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. He's hitting on me Your again. Man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that it way. It is more fun that way. I suggest way. you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. Are they, though? I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Oh, thank you. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Gerald's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Gerald character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, Flame. please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More Blame. importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Garrick yes, Mach? that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Thank you? What are heroics? There we go. I just carry my dagger around the school. Is it that kind of monastery? Hey, it's that guy. It's a leaf. I think I just saw a necromancer. Oh. Good. You got a weird haircut, dude.
This isn't my classroom. This is where you just stand all day, waiting for someone to enter here. Oh god. Exploring! Or sorry. Right stick to move camera, or plus minus to zoom in and out. B, Y to dash. I'm sure what to do looks left side of the screen. Your current will be displayed there. First mission, reject this mission. Alright, you know what? That's 20 minutes right there. So let's... Oh god. Not what I wanted. Let's call this episode 2. And let's start episode 3 out with... The Exploring of the Monastery. Thank you all for hanging out. I know this episode is 99.999% cutscene. That's pretty much what the entire video will be. Yeah. It happens. If you like what you like, then like it and subscribe and check me out on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. All the same username. And I hope to see you all for episode 3. Bye.